here you can see uh, low E glass, um, well insulated. You look at that and you think, uh, condensation on the inside, whereas in actual fact it's on the outside. So what you can see here is the heat has been transferred across from the frame um, into like the silver uh, joint there and it's gone across the glass so that piece of glass on the outside is actually warm but as it gets colder the warm air has hit that and condensed so as it warms up outside this will all evaporate um, but you can see all the way around the edge is the clear bit where there's no condensation forming on the outside of the window pane. But people have low E windows fitted and think, oh, there's a problem with them. But no, this is just like um, showing you that they are well insulated. Um, and yeah, the outside pane isn't being heated up. Um, so you get this condensation forming due to the um, dew point. I'll show you another window in a minute. Here we go again. This is a smaller window. Um, you can see that there's been a bit of heat transfer going across here, this clear, clear bit. Um, and then again here, but then again, this main section um, is where the condensation is formed on the outside of the window. And this one is starting to go now as the um, sun starting to heat up the outside. Um, but the temperature dropped last night to about nine degrees. So um, it typically does this when the temperature does a, a drop outside overnight. And then in the morning you get this. And this will clear um, probably a couple of hours and all of this will be gone. Here's another quite good example of it. It's quite thick on the outside. Um, it's actually beading and then just running down to the bottom. Again, either side, there's none of it. Um, you also get some Bellux windows, which can be quite good because it acts as like a blind. So um, it obscures the glass at night um, and in the morning. Uh, so yeah, it can be, can be quite good. But yeah, it's just a, a natural occurring phenomenon as it were. Um, but yeah, some people think they have the double glazing done and they just think there's a problem with the windows. So uh, they get the uh, installers back, but um, yeah, they just have to go through the process of explaining what this is and, and why it happens. Um, I don't think there's any way around it really. You can probably get some sort of treatment maybe for the outside to help stop the condensation being formed, but in the long run, you know, this is it. It doesn't happen every day. Um, it is the damp mornings, damp nights. Uh, so in the summer you just, you just don't get this at all. But yeah, I thought I'd put it on uh, YouTube so just to show you what, what goes on and why it happens. Okay, thank you.